You know that welcome sign you see on your neighbor's porch and you want one, but you don't know where to get it. You look on Etsy, it's a million dollars and you don't want to spend that kind of money. You can make your own for about $25. Shh, don't tell nobody. I'm going to show you how. cuties welcome back to my channel my name is courtney if you are new here welcome on this channel we get into all things cute crafty and diy if you're new please hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that you receive notifications when i post new videos which is every week today we're going to continue our fall refresh and create a porch sign for our porch now, this is not just a fall item, a seasonal item. You can update the ribbon on this sign to be for year round. You can change it out. You can change out the O's and home uh, to reflect the season or just to reflect your personal style. So if you'd like to see how to do it in just under six minutes or so, then just keep watching. We're about to get into it. For this project, you'll need an exterior stain, wood glue, and an exterior polyurethane to cover your project once it's complete. For the wood, I used two six-foot dog ear pickets and two 11-inch cuts of a 1x4 wood. Before staining your project, remember to sand it down with the sanding block of your choice to remove any sawdust or splinters. So once you've stained your wood and it's all dry, we're going to take our glue and get ready to glue down our two 11 inch pieces. We'll put one at the top and one at the bottom. Take your measuring tape and you'll measure five to five and a half inches from each end of the picket and you'll glue down from there. We're gonna do that to the top and the bottom. And once you have it glued, you'll wanna put some type of, if you don't have a clamp, which I didn't, I just put some paint cans on top for about 30 minutes until it uh, adheres and dries. While that works, we're gonna work on our letters. So I have wood letters that I've uh, purchased. You can purchase them from your local um, home store, not home store, your local craft store. Um, but I purchased these online. Um, and painted them I spray painted them white so if you don't have these letters what can I do well I don't know you can use a Cricut or you can go old school create your own stencil here I created a stencil of those letters to use later so you can create a stencil just like you would with anything else or you can use your Cricut machine either works you don't have to buy the wood letters, especially if you cannot find them. I start at the bottom, uh, just a few inches from the bottom. Um, I line my E up first and line the rest of my letters up from that E. And remember, you're going to need to leave some space at the top for the welcome to our so. And our O is removable, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But if you want it to, to be permanent, you're more than welcome to just glue it down there. So with our two hour, I put the two on one side and the hour on another side. What I'll do in the future is move that a little bit closer. But you'll go ahead, glue down your letters, and you'll see that there is a little bit of overlap with the glue, but it will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to work on our ribbon. So we're gonna put our ribbon um, on each end, at the top and at the bottom. This is some fall ribbon that I found um, in our local you know, craft store or whatever. You can find it at Dollar Tree. It's not that expensive. And those are the things that you can change out with the season. So you can change out, you know, with fall colors, with Christmas colors, whatever. I'll take a piece of twine and tie it so it'll stay in place. And if you don't like the ribbon idea, you can just use twine and, and use it on the top and the bottom. No problem. It's your sign. So I just kind of moved the twine to the left because I wanted to see more of the ribbon or the bow, whatever you want to call it and again at the top and the bottom in those fall pretty fall colors 
And with this, oh, if you have the wood piece, it's removable. If you have the stencil, you just leave it off. But in order to hold it in place, you can take a screw or even a push pin and just push it in between the two pickets and put your O. So your wreath or whatever you want it to be. My dog made an appearance, he's my coworker. And then we have our finished sign. Once it is dry, it's completely dry, you have a sign that looks like it took you hours and it really didn't. The longest part of this project is the drying time for the glue, which took about 30 minutes on the 11 inch pieces. And then for the letters, I let them sit a little bit longer. I put some weight on top of them and let them sit for about an hour and you're done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this project. I hope to see you next time and my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In the meantime, keep it crafty.